Hey y'all, you fam, it's me. Um, listen, I'm sitting in the bed and uh, you know my husband's not here. So, I need somebody to talk to. I need to vent. I need to get some stuff off my chest. And because we family, I decided to come talk to you. Um, because I just can't call my husband. He's in training and he can't have his phone out like that. I don't know when he's going to be available and I need to get this off my chest now. Uh, it has really been weighing heavy on my heart for quite some time. And, um, I just been noticing things, you know, lately that rub me the wrong way. And, um, I just kind of like brush it off or don't try to make a big deal about it. Or sometimes I look too much into something when it's not that serious or whatever. So, I just got an email from one of my subscribers, which is prompting me to do this video. It wasn't a bad email. It was actually a great email. Um, she was explaining how she just got approved from her for her surgery. Um, and I am so happy for her. We've been corresponding back and forth for quite some time. And so I'm so happy that she got the approval. I've been praying for her as I do for all of you. I pray for everyone I'm subscribed to. I pray for those who are subscribed to me. I just pray for you all because I love you. We family, you know. So um, I'm so happy for her. And all she has to do is schedule, you know, the surgery. So, um, oops, sorry. So um, I'm happy for her, yes. So happy for her just like I've said numerous of times the weight loss community the YouTube um, community for weight loss is very supportive let me change that the majority of the weight loss community is supportive not everybody and I try my best to be positive to look on the bright side of things even when I get negativity toward me I still try to say you know what you know some maybe they having a bad day or something and then I pray for them it took me a long time and you know I'm 32 years old it took me a long time to get to this point in my life um because before any little thing would set me off and I would go off on somebody quick, fast, in a hurry. I know you don't believe me, but trust me, it has been that way. Um, and I used to be so mad that my mom named me Precious because people expected me to be this nice, quiet, ooh, Precious. And it, and for so long, it wasn't that way. Anyway, um, back to what I'm trying to say. Okay, for me... For someone to watch my video, it's a blessing. I appreciate it. I try to tell you guys how much I love and appreciate you all the time for your support. So when you watch my video, I'm like grateful for that. And when you take the time out to comment on my video, I'm even more grateful. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, I make sure I try my hardest to respond to whatever comment I receive in, in a timely manner. I respond to people, you know, Facebook messages, Instagram messages, emails, all, all the ways to contact me is always listed at the bottom in the description box. And so many contact me daily. It can be overwhelming sometimes, but I always respond back. And I do not shortchange you because I know it takes guts to reach out to people. I know um, you're weary of, you know, reaching out to people on YouTube because, to be honest, some people are fake. And that's what bothers me, that you have some people who are fake. I cannot, st okay, I can't stand a liar. I can't stand people who act phony. You know what I'm saying? Look, just be real. Just come on here and be like, um, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for the click. You know, I'm just doing YouTube for money or um, I'm not going to respond. I don't care what you comment. If that's how you feel, then say that. 
but don't come on here and like oh my god like be this type of person and then don't care because people on youtube like i subscribe to people, i care for people and no not everyone is going to be like me think like me i understand that i completely understand that but when I first started watching YouTube videos, especially with weight loss, I reached out to some people. I'm not going to say who. I'm pretty sure they'll know who, but they probably won't ever watch my videos. But I reached out to to a couple people who, you know, have a, a large following who are considered vets in the community. I reached out to them either because I could relate to their story um, either because we had something in common as far as um, religion or because our spouses was in the military or same insurance, you know, whatever the case may be, I reached out to them. Never received the response. Nothing. No acknowledgement of it. Absolutely nothing. Just left me, you know, hanging. And it made me, as a subscriber, feel rejected, in a sense. You know what I'm saying? It did not, you know, I waited, you know, maybe a week. Ooh, because I know I get mess YouTube messages. And you can only see those when you get on the computer. Um, I can't get those messages on my phone. But I try... Um, you know, whenever I upload a video, I'm uploading from the computer, so I always check them then. So for me, when I get emails, when I get um, DMs, whatever, I am responding. And if you are someone who has sent me something, you know I respond, you know, and, and we could communicate. You can ask me anything, and I am completely honest with them. I just don't like the fakeness. And to be quite honest with you, um, okay, you know, in a couple, in like my last update or whatever, not everybody likes me and that's fine. I'm not everybody's cup of tea and that's fine. You know, you may not like, um, Coco and that's fine. That's not, that's not my concern at all. But if you don't like me, then don't like me all the time. Don't be fake. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm, I'm trying not to take it there. I'm trying, I'm really trying to keep it positive. But I'm really, I'm really in my feelings about this. Because I think it's rude. I think it's rude. I, you know, you wasn't always on top. You feel what I'm saying? Like those people who have a big following, they started from somewhere. Okay. And it, and you, if it wasn't for the subscribers like myself, you wouldn't be where you are. You know what I'm saying? Just show some type of gratitude. Just be humble. Humble yourself. Cause don't act like your stuff don't stink. You know what I'm saying? Like, Ooh, I'm just really rattled up because I, a subscriber told me, you know, I reached out to, so, you know, other YouTubers and they never respond. And I just was like, you know, same thing with me. They didn't respond to me either. It's just fake. And to be quite honest with you, especially with the weight loss. Okay. So, you've been doing weight loss videos for however many weeks, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 weeks. And um, you have a huge following and, you know, you've made some great connections in the weight loss community and da 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 Okay. And you have these people who you um, connect with and you meet up with and y'all hang out. And that's all great. But honestly, when you're new, when you're, I consider myself to be a newbie. So it's kind of like clicks, like you're in high school. Okay. So you're the senior, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all seniors, y'all been in school for a while. You got your clicks. You won't let a freshman come into your click. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you get that side eye or whatever. And I don't got time for that. I don't have time for that. I got way more, way more stuff to worry about than being 
in your clique. But at the end of the day, I think that a lot of them are jealous. And I'm just being real. And I may get some hate from this and people probably watching this thinking, I wonder who she talking about. Ooh, is it me? Is it me? It could be you. I'm just saying. But it's probably not anybody who's watching because the bigger, um, the the ones who have the most following, they don't, they don't really watch uh, newbies videos anyway. They stick to the clicks. <laughs> but I just feel like they jealous. It has to be. It's pure jealousy because I've lost 100 pounds now and it hasn't been six months. Okay? And some people at a year out haven't lost 100 pounds. That's not my fault. I mean, I'm dedicated to this lifestyle change. I put in work. You know what I'm saying? It's not just because I had the gastric bypass over the sleeve. It's because of the work I put in in the gym. It's because of the diet that I have what I eat I watch what comes into my body because now my body is my temple you feel what I'm saying like my mindset has changed but don't be jealous you know what I'm saying congratulate me be happy for me you know what I'm saying like we're supposed to motivate each other and encourage each other and at the end of the day who cares they don't know me and I really don't know them. I only know what they show me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to make sense of this. But I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. There are some real fake people on YouTube who portray to be a certain kind of way. Who portray that they care about you or, um, you know, whatever that they support you. But if I... I'm not saying that you have to respond to comments or respond to my messages or anything. I'm just saying as a newbie, you know, open up, open up, open up, allow me to come in, you know, take somebody by the hand and, and lead the way. That's what you're supposed to do when you're older. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be an example, a role model to us younger or newbies. You know what I'm saying? And let me just say, I'm not talking about everybody. I'm really not. I'm only talking about a select few. But because there are some veterans that are amazing. Mama Rose, I'm telling you right now, if you're not subscribed to her channel, you don't know what you're missing. Because she is a a true woman of God. I, I just She's a woman of God. She is beautiful. And her sister Connie, they are beautiful. They are supportive. And you'll get a lot from their videos. And when I tell you supportive as in, I have called Mama Rose when I didn't have anybody else to call. And she has picked up and she has helped me. And I am forever grateful for that. I have communicated, you know, corresponded with other YouTubers. But, you know, that are veterans. That's just what I'm going to call them. I don't know. You have some people who honestly, honestly care for us, who honestly want to support and motivate you and want to see the best from you. I am one of those. If you reach out to me, you're going to get my support. You're going to have my undivided attention. You know, I'm going to make sure I'm giving you the information I have. I'm a newbie. I don't know everything. I can only tell you what I do know and I can direct you to you know someone who could probably help you more <sighs> i love new channels i i do i reach out to those you know i provide as much feedback and information as i can if you ask from if you ask me a question i'm going to give you my honest opinion okay even if it's you want me to watch your first video and tell you what i think i will and i'll tell you i will tell you when I first started making videos, you know how you have the two black lines on the side of the video? I didn't like that, but I didn't know how to stop it. Nobody told me, hey, you can turn your phone the other way. If you're recording on your phone and it's straight up and down like this, straight up and down, you're going to have those black lines on the side. Turn your phone to the side when you're recording. Okay? So that the, the video is full screen when you're watching it. I like that better. 
but nobody told me that I learned that you know I had to figure it out for myself um but I'm just saying guys just be real just be honest I can only speak for myself. I don't know other people's lives, what they got going on and all this stuff. You know, because after so long, people stop recording videos because they're, they've been out for a year, two years. And they don't have anything to update on or whatever. So they kind of stop making videos, which is fine. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. But um, some people don't have time to watch videos and, and comment because honestly... Sometimes I don't watch for days and then I'm so backed up and it takes, it is like I'm watching YouTube for hours trying to catch up and, and comment and stuff. But I just want you guys to know that if I subscribe to your channel, I'm watching you. I'm watching, I'm, you know, I'm trying my best. I do have three children, but I do give my support to you guys and um, I love you. I truly, truly, truly love you. All of you. And I hope you know that. And if you ever feel that I'm being dismissive or that I'm being rude or um that I'm just not you know changing or anything let me know be my friend and tell me um like oh precious you ain't like you used to tell me yeah so tell me um I just had to get that off my chest I just really had to say what had been on my heart what had been on my mind and yes, this is going to step on some toes, but at the end of the day, I don't care. I'm not doing YouTube for money. I'm doing this because I wanted to document my weight loss journey. I wanted to encourage others. I wanted the same encouragement for myself. I wanted to, you know, I don't know, make connections with other people who understood what I was doing, who understood where I was, you know, everything. And I have made great connections. I connect with, you know, several people on YouTube. And maybe one day I'll do like um, a shout out video to um, some of my favorite channels or those who I watch the most or whatever, something like that. But I'm just over the fakeness. <laughs> I really am. And you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell who, who make videos for money. I'm not making no money. I don't think I'll ever make no money. I'm doing this because I don't have a life. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not doing it for money. So, like, it was my husband's idea for me to do YouTube. And I'm so glad that he pushed me to do it because I have really made some good friends. I like, I talk to a lot of YouTube on the phone. Like if someone's like, you know, if they're going through something or if I feel a connection with them, I'm like, call me, FaceTime me. Um, yeah, Karima is a subscriber and we FaceTime and I feel like I'm really getting to know her and it's amazing. Tamika, my surgery sister. I love you. You know, like, we have a connection. I connect with Eve. I connect with so many. I connect with people who I don't speak to outside of, you know, YouTube videos. I love Scotty. You know what I'm saying? I, I love everybody. But I'm just saying, I just don't got time for fakeness. I really, really, truly, truly don't. And there are several YouTubers that are, they genuinely care about you. They genuinely want to see you do good. Jody is very inspiring. Jody shouts out people on her channel just to say good job, good luck. I love that because she loves, she loves on people and I do. I, I'm not going to keep going on and on because this video is going to be too long, but I just want to say, I love you guys and and I pray for you. I know some people don't like me to pray, but Father God, we thank you for another day. We thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to wake up this morning and just have another day at life. We thank you for health. Lord Jesus, we just thank you, Lord. And I pray, Lord God, that my 
that if they're watching this video, if they are in need of anything, Lord God, I stand in the gap for them right now in the name of Jesus. I stand in the gap for them, Lord God, whatever illness that they may be experiencing, Lord God, that you heal that. Whatever weakness that they may feel, Lord God, that you strengthen that. In the name of Jesus, I love you. I love you, Lord. I love you, YouTube family. I truly love you. And I pray a multitude of blessings be bestowed upon your life. In the name of Jesus, I pray this into Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for loving me as much as I love you. And I hope that I really did not upset you guys because this is so out of like outside of me and what I do. But it was on me to talk about it and um, and I had to. So I see you guys the next time and I love you lots. <laughs> Bye.